et chou Mojuba. The school water that I pour, school water that I pour on the earth to freshen the road of the yard and the house and my head, to freshen the road of the Himalaya, the Orisha, and all the benevolent beings of creation, but to also freshen the road, my own road, my own pathway, my own presence and all that. Creativity is the manifestation of all that exists, you know, every and all things, somehow are a product of that creative energy. So in my mind, creativity is everything. I think I came here with a predisposition for the arts. From a very early age, as far as I can remember, I always enjoyed putting things together, taking things apart with a curiosity, a creative curiosity. When I was in secondary school, I used to do a lot of flowers and landscapes and portraits, done very photographically. You know, I would be able to watch you and draw you perfect. Since I was introduced to Makemba Kunle and Studio 66 Art Support Community, I was introduced to them at the age of 16, my mother. She said, you want to, do, you want to be an artist? You're not staying in this house and just scratching. Come and meet a real artist. She carried me by Makemba. Initially, I wasn't impressed because it was a whole different ball game, a whole new world I was introduced to, and a new world of color and expression. And, and at the time, I didn't understand, well, I certainly it was the first time I seen this type of work. And he was at a certain stage in the progress that wasn't moving me. <laughs> you know, so I was like, what is this boy? Anyhow, um, over the years, Makemba was able to, and not just Makemba, but Makemba and the community, that Studio 66 support, art support community, changed my outlook influenced me profoundly and you know I was able to learn some new technical approaches and you know I was introduced to new philosophical and esoteric concepts which has informed my work. Those are some of the ways in which I've matured and the influences that were instrumental in that maturity that, that, that developed and so on. You know, and I think that is a, is a constant evolution that has to occur with, with, uh, with human beings, you know. Doing what I love takes precedent over the views of others. But because my mission as an artist, as a messenger, I think that the views of, of others is very important, it's very important. First and foremost, the love and the healing and the light and, and all the good things that I want to give to the, to the world through my art, it was given to me first in the process, creating the work. I do it first for me. And, and Leroy Clark would always say to me, to let your work be a prayers. Let your work be a prayers. And that Mm. 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 <laughs> that has remained with me. I'm particularly proud of this series that I'm working on currently. This series is called The Ancestors Who Sit at God's Feet. It is a work that I've been toiling with for years. Some of the pieces in this series are very old. I mean, over 13 years and so on, right? So, and I still have a little few touches on one or two of them that at that age. Some of the pieces came together quite quickly. You know, it's the nature of the process. What I would like to be most remembered for is my efforts. You know, my efforts to transmit this light and this love and this inspiration and this healing, you know? My name is Jason Hospitalis, and in a big box of crayons, I would be the wax. <laughs>